Hi, this is Joanna Stern of Laptop Magazine, and a few weeks back we looked at multi-touch built into a screen on the Dell XT. Uh, it was a driver that came from Entry, but now we're looking at the EPC 1000H. Um, and as many of you guys may know, e the EPC, uh, the new lines of the EPC have built in kind of a multi-touch touchpad, uh, similar to like the MacBook Air, that allows you to do gestures on the touchpad. But until now, we really haven't been able to do much with the touchpad. We've been able to zoom in by pinching. But some new drivers from the uh, company that makes the uh, smart pad, as they call it, the company's called Elon Tech, uh, has released some new drivers for um, this smart pad that works perfectly on the EPC 1000H. Uh, this EPC 1000H actually came out of the box running Windows XP, but we loaded on Vista uh, this week, and you can see our post on that. Vista runs perfectly well. But so we're going to go over some of the new functions of the touchpad here. And as you can see, you can just load on the driver. It goes into the mouse settings. And you can tweak what you want um, some of the functions to do. So you can tap with two fingers uh, to, let's say, run something. So I've programmed my tapping to two fingers to run Firefox. And as you can see, two fingers launches Firefox. I think actually I tapped there twice, so it launched Firefox. And three fingers you can have to minimize a window or swipe between windows. So as you can see here, I pulled down three fingers and I can use my fingers to swipe and launch windows. Which brings me here to the Windows Photo Gallery and there's some new functionality in here. Obviously you've been able to do the zooming with your fingers for a while. But a new thing you can do is rotate using one finger. So I'm place one finger firmly on the touchpad and then you can just swipe this one to kind of change the orientation of the picture. And as you can see here, you can also bring up a magnifying glass by also using two fingers on the touchpad, which allows you to kind of zoom in on different parts of the screen. I personally am not a big fan of that. Uh, it kind of gets distracting, but it is kind of nice on the small screen. So again, let's just show you how easy it is to rotate the pictures. I'm happy to finally have this functionality built in. Hasn't worked out of the box on a lot of the EPCs we've tested. So that's some neat things. I actually really think it's good for productivity. Um, when I'm working on the desktop, for instance, simply dragging down and then toggling between windows, I like that a lot. And then also in the browser, I like a lot of the functions in the browser. So let me pull up one of the browsers I had been web surfing in and you can simply just swipe to go back to pages so I was at New York Times, I can go back to New York Times before New York Times I was at our home page, our start page and simply three fingers across allows you to easily toggle through there some other neat things is just obviously the two finger scroll down and gadget here is a long page so I've been you know, surfing on my couch, just allowing myself to use two fingers up and down. Back up is two fingers. And it's definitely not as finicky as sometimes having to use the side scroll on the mouse pad, on the touch pad. So definitely happy with the web browsing experience. And again, you can really kind of tailor some shortcuts. So again, down allows us to toggle through applications here. We don't have arrow, uh, Windows Arrow interface enabled on this Vista. Swiping up will allow you to bring up my computer or you can, you can change the shortcut. And also you can tap three fingers for another gesture too, but I don't think we have it programmed in unless it's still minimized. Yes, three fingers tapping down is minimizing the window. So obviously there's a lot of options that you can, you know, take advantage of with the touchpad. We've programmed some and I've been using it over the past few days so I remember kind of what they all do. You know, down is going to the sides or uh, up will launch my computer, but this is really based on what the user wants to do. But overall we're definitely really happy with the updated drivers here. As you can see it does a lot for productivity um, and we're really happy with it and we hope other people will test it out and let us know what they think of the uh, multi-touch touchpad on EPCs.